Hello gamers, Matt Lemke here with uh, Gamer Goggles at Gen Con 2012 with Ronnie from Manic Games and you know I wasn't smart enough to ask his last name. <laughs> so we're going to get right to it. Uh, Manic makes Warpath, Kings of War, Dwarven Hold and I cannot remember. Project Pandora. Pandora, yes, Pandora. Project Pandora. So real quick, yeah. let, let's jump in. You've got a new game coming out yeah. um, in September or October. Uh, shipping uh, shipping October, so it's going to be in the stores late October and November. And the name of the game is? Dreadball.com. Dreadball. Dreadball. Uh, Dreadball.com is the website. Uh, it's a futuristic sci-fi sports game. It's set in the far future in our World Path universe. Um, in between killing each other and killing aliens, they go and they play sports games. So we've got... Uh, and this is your invite to the Trontech 29ers versus the Green Moon Smackers. Uh, they're the first two teams in the game. It's very fast, hyperkinetic um, game. So really excited about that, that shipping. And there's a Kickstarter for that going live week on Friday. So Friday the 24th of August. Friday the 24th of August. Okay. Now real quick, what is... Okay. It's a cross between... What type of genre is this? So it's sci-fi genre. So think Tron. Think Speedball 2. Mix in... Uh, our Warpath universe, so the far future. So you've got orcs, you've got dwarfs, you've got vermin, you've got the humans, all coming together to play a big shiny sports game in a sports arena. Sports, a little bit of ice hockey, a little bit of basketball. Mm. Hockey and basketball. Well, the, the, the thing is, there's not one goal. They shoot a hoop that comes up. It's a holographic loop. So what happens is they get in the oh, scoring okay. zone. So like with basketball, you have two points and three points. This has a scoring zone. You've got to be in the scoring zone to score. Uh, then when you're in the scoring zone, the goal appears. They shoot. What's interesting, why is it fast? As soon as it shoots, as soon as it scores, the turn counter moves on. The ball shoots straight back out again on the halfway line. So all of your players are up there scoring a goal. And everybody back, fights to get back. And then you're going to get back, and then all of a sudden. Okay. So it's really quick really dynamic and you're playing an hour d6 base d6 based hex based so it's all about the frontage can you block oh can so it's okay so the figures are all okay. on hexes it's got a map just you know fall straight out to a big pitch it's a cardboard pitch so 10 minutes from in the box we're playing they're all single piece miniatures yeah you've seen the quality here the sculpt quality is... oh yeah and we'll get we'll get some close-ups of these i mean so we've already done some kings of war stuff but yeah. this guy is but this is actually one of the figures. Yeah. Oh wow! So this is all. This is the team. So there's the uh, there's a green moon smacker. There's a. Um... Okay, we'll get. Yeah, we'll. We'll get. I'll get, we'll get, get some color images, but there's this fellow. Yeah, that guys. This guy's bad looking. Yeah. Okay. Almost lost him. Oh, and this is the guy carrying the ball, running like a. Yeah, he's a striker. So you've got three positions. You've got guards, jacks, jack of all trades, and strikers. And so the guards blocking, the jacks, bit of blocking, bit of movement. They can run with the ball. And the strikers, they're all about movement. They're wide receivers. The problem is, they break really easy. So it's hockey, basketball, and football. American football. Yeah. That game you, you don't play with your feet. Yeah, that game you don't play with your feet. So, um, really excited about it. The imagery and the art is fantastic. These the guys are nuts. Yeah. And they're going crazy. So, um, it's, uh, yeah, Kickstarter kicks off next week. It uh, kicks off Friday, the 24th of August. So, www.dreadball.com. Is this the referee? That's the referee. That, if we get through our first pledge of 20,000, that goes in the game free of charge for everybody. Wow. And we'll be able to put her on the tool and let it roll from there. Okay, and then we'll move on to the original game. The first game, the biggest, the best, the most beautiful. Mass Combat War Game. This just came out recently too, Just right? a month ago. We've been working on it for three years. We don't rush the, the, the building of a core game system. Uh, I'll just get a close-up. Yeah. Um, well, we're just talking about it. It's 100 and many pages, 180 pages, 144 pages. That's a big change from the 12-page quick start. Correct. We need to go and do a new, new kick start, a new 12-page now. It's got all the um, background, it's now got a map Nice, in it. nice map. So there's lots of background, there's a nice map, and it all just um, works from there. That's one of my favourite pages, there's a dwarf defending against uh, an elf army. 
some of the original concept art. Yeah, I love that. I love that stuff too. And it's littered throughout, and you can see it's great when you see that model sculpted. And this one is came straight from the renders. And then the terms, the actual rules start there and they're finished. That's page 30. The basic rules are finished by, there you go, we're on war engines by 38. <laughs> so still like 12 pages of rules. And then this is some of the different things that victorious. This is magic. Magic is folded in next to piercing attacks. Big new force. Magic items. You get to the back, you've got campaigns and advanced rules, multiplayer games, sieges, vehicle, uh, your buildings, and then we get to the Arminist. Every single army. That, that was a question I was going to have. Your game seems to be growing quickly. Yeah. Are you ever going to move into like having your own force books? Well, the one of the first expansions is going to be some of the armies that are not in there. There's going to be three of them in the first expansion. Oh, so you're going to kind of do it in baby steps. Yeah, and then just go that way. And then I'm sure at some point, you know, a few years from now, this will lead a, a 2.0 boot, and we'll look at how we do it then. But that is for years. It's going to last because the core rules are solid. We've taken three years to get here, so we know they're rock solid. And then we... Um, and then every month thereafter, uh, if we update a rule book about an army list, it just goes up on the website. Right. right. So as we get a new unit, it goes up, you can download it for free. So we've got a tournament running for this at Adepticon next year. Oh, excellent. And whoever wins the tournament, $1,000 to the winner. We think it's a great tournament system. This. So there's the rules, that's what's going to be used, there's the armies. You only have to have 75% of your figures mantic. So you can bring in some of your favourite figures from other places. You don't need to buy a whole new army. And just put it in perspective, that might cost you $100, $150 tops for a Mantic army. Yeah, that's about right, yeah. yeah. So Even with it. the conversion. Yeah, yeah exactly. that's, that's about right. So, um, you know, you can pick up an army, you can come along that tournament. We've got tickets on sale, $1,000 for the winner. There's first, second and third prizes. There's a prize pot of $1,000. That may be playing. Good effort, good down there. So um, I just want to get people trying the system, spreading it amongst their friends. If you're starting, if you're a club, you like it, you want to get your friends into it, go to a website, download the free basic rule set, you can give that out to them, then it's very easy. People can pick up a box of minis. You want to get started, and then one player set. This has got 20 skeletons with a command group, 20 zombies, 10 ghouls, dice, and the rule book. For like 45 bucks. Yep, that's what I was going to say. They, they figure out usually somewhere around there. Yeah, that dollar figure. So you, you're able to just get in the game, you can buy a regiment or two for 25 bucks, and you can start playing. Three I'm a fan of your goals. Yeah, the goals the are. The goals are phenomenal. They were very popular. And then we have some. Some of the Warpath. Some of the Warpath. So this is where we're now you know, pushing on into the. Uh, into the Warpath universe. This game, as I said, with Kings of War took three years. Amazing. And Warpath is now just getting to the end of year one. So it's gonna get an upgrade and dare I say it, I believe he was inspired by Judge Dredd. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Judge Dredd's uh, yeah. And a little bit of Halo maybe and many other influences. I don't see the Halo as much. I, I see um, kind of a starship troopy space marine. Yeah. But uh, they're really good, and uh, I'm a fan, especially of the new stuff. I, I am a big fan. I even like the rats. Yeah. I, I like the rats a lot, but I saw these, and like, man, these are amazing. Now, I'm not an expert painter, but I find these intimidating, the amount of detail. Yeah, spray and dry brush should be straight there. Well, that's true. Spray, if you want to cheat, spray and dry brush in two colors. <laughs> you'll, you'll be there because they, they're all really armored up. Just pick out the weapons, pick out some detail, and you have a lovely looking unit army. Okay, so what's on the future for. Well, you just you just released the two player starter for Kings of War. Yeah. And that's got to be absolutely amazing for yeah, you. Yeah, it's a big, big pile of soldiers. It's got the rule book, it's got everything in it. That's starting to roll, so that's definitely rolling downhill. And the rule book. We've then we did a Kickstarter for that, which gave us the funding to do a whole human army. It's going to be led by angels, paladins, uh, uh, you know, this is a kind of wow. human force sweeping into uh, forces for good. They're going to be fighting against the demonic army of the abyss, which is going to be elementals and stone trolls and all of the kind of evil underworld creatures, demons, Satan's imps, devils. 
So we're really going to kind of cascade into that, and then around those you've got the Orc army, you've got the Undead army, you've got the Elves, the Dwarfs. Yeah, so now the world is really starting to come to life. I'm a little bit out of the loop. You still have a few more races to go, right? Yeah, yeah, and we're always going to add new ones, but people have been saying for years, when are you going to do humans? When are you going to do humans? I said, well, when have got something new to say? You know, we didn't want to just do another... Human. Human. I'm a knight. Um, yeah, exactly. So, where do we get to? Where well, we got to? Bringing angels back into it, phoenixes, and, and, and they're kind of taking it on that whole... Oh, phoenixes, that's cool. Yeah, that's what we buy. So, okay. Uh, with Warpath, yeah. where are you heading? So, Warpath 2.0 is just about to come out, which is an uh, upgraded rulebook. Be free to download from the website. As well. And then we will uh, also put it out as a $7.5 book. There will be a $7.5 voucher in there. So, in a year's time, you'll be able to get $7.5 off your hardback book. Oh, so wow. Because okay. it's 2.0, and then we'll upgrade from there. And then over the next year, we're going to finalize the rules. Add some new layers, battle cards, and uh, objectives, and then we'll add four more armies. Okay. And then that will hit sometime Excellent. early 2013. And are you going to be at Adepticon, or are you just going to have somebody run it for you? No, no. You can't keep me away from <laughs> Chicago. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I'm, there. Yeah. I'm there every year, so uh, I enjoy coming over. We've got a U.S. team here, and so we... Um, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, we're a guy in the U.S. who looks after the distributors and looks after the retailers. And, See, you learn something every day. I didn't know that, and I should have. But okay, now we'll, while he drinks some coffee, I'm. Uh, there's another goblin somewhere. 